Today in this video, I will aim to break down the rarity, characteristics and unique ways of obtaining these rare commodities within Creatures of Scenaria, discussing each mutation in depth and their average values. And on top of all that, for all you mutation hunters, I will be listing the most sought-after mutation combinations that you should be aiming to look for, with some triple mutation slots that can sell for up to hundreds of thousands of mushrooms, Karukus or Urzuks each. This guide will cover permanent mutations based on their percentage rarity, from most common to rarest, followed by the event, exclusive, and finally a discussion about triple mutations. The glimmer mutation changes patches of the affected species into a neon material, which will be different to the shimmer mutation. The affected creature will appear completely white aside from its eyes, which will exhibit a reddish pink color. Albinism, along with melanism, leucistic and piebald mutations, are all inspired by real-life mutations that occur within different species. The affected creature will appear completely matte black aside from its eyes, which will exhibit a yellow color. Similarly to albinism, a creature affected by the leucistic mutation will appear somewhat white, but on top of that, it will also exhibit different shades of lightened yellows and brown patches. Additionally, the creature's eyes will display a milky white color. The pied mutation which can also be known as the piebald mutation, affects a creature by changing its original color to instead showcase patches of orange, brown, and white. This mutation creates a contrasting palette that rivals that of the leucistic mutation, as its orange and browns are much deeper in color. On top of that, and quite curiously enough, the eyes of creatures affected by the pied mutation possess a cyan blue color. For some species, such as the angelic warden, this cyan color will also affect its decorative eyes that are scattered across its wings, creating an additional sense of contrast. We are now getting into the rare mutations category. The overgrown mutation is the first mutation so far to be applying a unique texture and will change the colors of your species to resemble that of leaves and rocks, simulating an overgrown look. If the affected species has talons or claws, these will instead become neon green along with its eyes. This mutation is one of, if not the most, sought after permanent mutation that players will hunt for. There is also the option to customize a shimmer creature with a skin as this mutation doesn't change the color of the creature. Shimmer is very similar to the glimmer mutation, changing the material on certain parts of the affected creature to a neon glow, only these parts will be different to glimmer. Glowtail is another popular mutation that mutt hunters will look for, usually in combination with shimmer. This mutation changes the material on the affected creature's tail into a neon glow, but will not change the base color of the tail, so you will be able to customize any creature with this mutation. Although Shadow is rarer when compared to Shimmer and Glowtail, Shadow isn't as sought after because of its limited customization options. This mutation alters both the material and colors of the affected creature, 
changing the creature's colors completely neon black. This mutation is very similar to melanism, but instead of turning the eyes yellow, species with the shadow mutation will have their eyes turn neon white instead. Diamond is the last permanent mutation in creatures of Scenaria and affects creatures by changing their palette into a mixture of different shades of light blue. Similar to Shadow, this palette is limited in customizability and has a set of overlapping colors that players will not be able to change without toggling off this mutation. This restriction is the reason why Shimmer and Glowtail are favored mutations over Shadow and Diamond. So far, there are currently seven different event mutations in the game. Each of these mutations have an unknown percentage of being obtained and are only obtainable during certain events at certain times. These mutations include Ghosty, Headless, Zombified, Harvest, Frostburn, Cold Chunk and Blossom. The top event mutations you should look for are Ghosty and Headless. This mutation changes both the material and color of affected species to a neon bluish green with some parts appearing invisible due to the use of the force field material. I have seen people offering for specific species with the ghosty mutation from 10,000 upwards to 100,000 mushrooms per slot. Although ghosty's value will depend on your buyer, its demand and the availability of ghosty on that specific species. The headless mutation only affects the neck and above of a species, changing the affected area into a dark, semi-transparent force field. This mutation suits well with Glowtail, as both are able to be displayed at the same time. Headless is the second most sought-after event mutation after Ghosty, selling from 5,000 up to 50,000 mushrooms on average. Zombified is another Halloween exclusive mutation, changing both the colors and materials of the affected creature. This mutation is very similar to Overgrown, using the same leafy texture, but adding some dark reds and blacks into the palette. The eyes of zombified creatures will glow neon yellow instead of overgrown green. Harvest was the only mutation introduced for the Harvest event, showcasing an orange, green and brown colour scheme with some parts of the creature having a texture that resembled the overgrown mutation. Personally, I have not seen many people looking for or trading slots with this mutation, but it should be something from 1,000 to 5,000 on average. The first winter mutation introduced was Frostburn, where affected species would only have some parts of their body changed to display a light blue colour, accompanied with icy textures, with the unaffected areas being customizable by the player. The eyes and claws would also appear neon light blue if the species has any. A second winter mutation was later introduced and creatures with the coal chunk mutation would display different shades of black, including their eyes, in combination with a glass material. This mutation has higher demand compared to Frostburn, with the average mushroom value of coal chunk ranging from 1,000 to 5,000.
Introduced during the Valentine's event, Blossom affects creatures in a similar way as Frostburn. But instead of light blue icy patches, this mutation displays a pink colour scheme with a flowery texture. Blossom has a similar value to Frostburn, ranging from 500 to 3000 on average. The S'more and Bewitched mutation are both obtainable from plushies, including the S'more Cat plushie and Magic Frog plushie. Both of these mutations have a 10 to 20% chance of being obtained, as each plushie you equipped gives you an additional 10% chance. S'more and Bewitched can be obtained from being nested by a player equipped with their respective plushie or reaching age 67 while having the plushie equipped yourself. The value for these mutations range from 200 to 2,000 mushrooms. The small cat plushie is unlockable by inputting a code during Discord campfire streams and would only be available to redeem for short windows of time. These plushies can be traded for with an average value of 1 to 3,000 mushrooms. The Magic Frog plushie, on the other hand, is currently unobtainable, but was available in 2023 for 99 Robux during the Halloween event, and can be traded for with an average value of 2 to 3,000 mushrooms. So what species should you mutation hunt for? The most popular creatures that I have seen being frequently auctioned within the Creatures of Scenaria Discord server include those from the Role Limited category. This includes species such as the Somnia elus, Oastriarus, Etherolotus, Sigmatox, Verza, and Iris. Triple mutations of Somnia, Sig, and Oa are the top three species to auction. Species with good statistics and or designs, such as Corathos or Gatticus, are also popular species that people will auction for, but it may be harder to find buyers for these more common species. Your best option, personally, would be to look for a female Somnia Elus, save slot and grind for, or buy pure shimmer and diamond slots to then age for Glowtail or Shadow. By using a Glimmer token, you will be able to auction these slots as triple mutations for values that go for tens of thousands of mushrooms. If you're looking for a species with rare mutations yourself, auctions are constantly held within the Creatures of Scenaria Discord. But if you aren't able to find the mutations for a species you want, I have seen plenty of mutation hunting services available within the COS Discord and occasionally the COS Wiki for you to ask. Links to both socials will be in the description below. But if none of these options suit you, posting offers for specific mutations on specific species may entice potential mutation hunters.